Hey guys, what's up? Hey, Avengers Infinity War trailer! What's up? And today I'm gonna do a review, a very brief and short, relatively short review on Kendrick Lamar's Damn, which is a really hyped album. Anyway, I'm gonna be a little bit more brief on this uh, on this review because uh, I'm gonna do a re-review on this album thoroughly when I get to the Kendrick Lamar series where I talk about all his studio albums and including the EP he released, Untitled Unmastered. Well, anyway, Kendrick Lamar, you know him, one of the best rappers right now and arguably the best right now. He is K-Dot or Kung Fu Kenny. His last album, To Pimp a Butterfly, is arguably the best album of the 2010s so far, with all these great songs and psychedelic but danceable moments, and the album also has ups and downs, and it's really cinematic, and um, there's a lot of good things about To Pimp a Butterfly. Too bad that it lost its Grammy Award to Taylor Swift. But no offense. And then he returns with Damn, which is a really hyped album. Even I hyped about it a lot. I was expecting a really well done, well produced album with a really quality theme to it. And um, apparently it's, it's a little bit lower than my expectation. So Kendrick teased us with the hard part four, which is a roller coaster of different fiery and 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 angry verses. And uh, this is basically the the teaser of the album. And um, and Kendrick basically said, when I drop my next album, the whole industry on ice pack, which is a really bold statement, and it makes us hype even more and salivate for more and expect more and turns out damn wasn't that great of an album so um kendrick lamar on this album unlike section 80 or good kid mad city or to pimp a butterfly he's more emotionally raw and intimate and personal and uh he has this new style of being super trap flavored and super like angry and mean and fiery and uh, this change of pace is a little bit hard to adapt and grasp and um, this new style of his isn't too much of, of a good change but uh you know I'm not gonna comment too much on his new style because um he is what he is and uh, first of all, I'm going to talk about the theme, the major theme around this album. This album is more personal than ever. Instead of uh, talking about the city of Compton, instead of talking about the black culture, the rap culture, and talking about controversial topics, mostly this album is about himself, and it's about what he thinks about the world right now, no matter... No matter if it's uh, controversial or a little bit normal and everyday. And uh, about the controversy he created and discussed on this album. He's basically saying that his brothers, the black people, is kind of being punished by God. And uh, that's a really vague and and a bold claim and um, I don't think that's a really good theme for the album I mean most of the album is made up by this black theme by this punishment of God hypocrisy and ain't nobody praying for me theme and uh, some tracks on this album is more about love and fear and pride and lust and this and that you know some bad things sins and some good things that everyone loves and uh, I mean it's not a bad theme for the album but I think he could really use some help on organizing those themes and make it more solid and thorough and detailed instead of just 
stating them on the album. And uh, he always considers himself as this hero, as this savior, and he's helping so many people to, uh, to, cha to help change their lives. But nobody's praying for him, so he feels very lonely and he feels like he sacrificed a lot. And uh, not that it's a bad thought, but um, like it's not too huge or grand of an issue. On feel, he he's basically saying, "Ain't nobody's praying for me," and how lonely and left out he feels, despite having so many fans. And on fear, he kind of have this very ugly thought of him drifting away from God and uh, having a very bad faith, I guess. I beat your ass, keep talking back. I beat your ass, who bought you that? You stole it. I beat your ass if you say that game is broken. I beat your ass if you jump on my couch. I beat your ass if you walk in this house with tears in your eyes, running from poor poor and Prentice. Go back outside, I beat your ass, little nigga. That homework better be finished. I beat your ass, your teachers better not be... Like, he is a Christian, and he believes in God. And then on this album, he's kind of drifting away from God, and and feeling like he's punished, and why God, why God do I have to suffer? And um, I get why he has all these struggling feelings. Like, I'm not, like, putting myself into his shoes, but I understand that, you know, there must be a lot of pressure and stress and all these crazy thoughts that he had over the years, but um, I think this theme and this idea is a little bit spotty and a little bit too, like, why would you sing about that all the time on this album? And the, the idea of being punished by God is actually kind of bullshit, because, um, like, why? Like, why would all these black people be the chosen type of people of being purposefully punished by God as if it's some divine punishment like it doesn't make much sense and uh, it's yeah I guess I could go along with it I guess it makes sense in some degree but uh, it's it's nowhere as authentic and as real as the themes back in his past albums okay then I'm gonna talk about his style and his attitude on the songs and um, on this album he is way more mean and aggressive and angry while on section 80 or good kid mad city or even to pimp he's basically chilling relaxed and sometimes he has this really funny sense of humor that he always uses on his songs but uh this time he's more serious he's more angry and he's trying to have this statement where he responds to a Fox News statement where there's basically this news reporter who's saying that Kendrick Lamar is bad for the black culture and the rap culture and Kendrick Lamar is kind of pissed off by that. So he's like, nope, fuck it. I'm going to fire back with my raps. Let's go. And uh, on DNA, we can hear that it's um it's a good example of him being angry and aggressive. And um, on humble too, instead of him being humble and honest and true, it's more like him telling other rappers to be humble. So the theme of humility is a little bit distorted on that song, in my opinion. And um, now let's move on to the songs, the music, the lyrics itself. So the album started off with Blood, which is a more melancholic and moody song from Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick kind of tells this story on Blood, which is actually kind of interesting and intriguing. And then it moves on to DNA, which is a really harsh and aggressive banger. The first half is kind of okay but the second half oh my gosh it just blows out your eardrums on xxx kendrick lamar is more stale more cold 
and he's really chill and then this uh and then this sampled moment of trumpets kind of kind of snip kind of slipped in between the verses and uh it's okay i guess and then the song kind of stops and he started teaching these kids about gun control and then it becomes this very spacey very laid back jazzy section where U2 is featured unexpectedly U2 is featured on a Kendrick Lamar song and the feature is actually kind of good however apparently it's actually a sample from a new U2 song that just got released like a week ago and uh, I mean it's not too big of a problem but it's a little bit underwhelming but XXX it's it's an okay song I guess at first it's really good but it's kind of stale over time and uh, there's also a lot of lackluster and underwhelming moments on Dam, including Ya yeah, which is this I I don't want to say it I really don't want to say it but it sounds like Drake Ya yeah, sounds like Drake and it's kind of boring kind of chill and it's just here and then it's there yeah 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 I have so many I have so many theories and suspicions you know and it's just I mean it's not that Kendrick Lamar is too chill we see him chill in a lot of songs in songs like ADHD or mama Kendrick Lamar is really chill and uh, it's actually okay because of how the instruments the instrumentals kind of accompanies with him but on this song it's really dreary and slow and lost and it doesn't really go anywhere it's kind of boring and uh, the song loyalty and Rihanna is on it too like Rihanna's always repeating words like work 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 and then wow 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 and then on this album on this song, she's kind of like, loyalty, loyalty, loyalty. There are so many Rihanna features in this world right now. It's crazy. And uh, on this song, Rihanna and Kendrick Lamar is, again, really chill. Really, really slow. And uh, it's it's nothing too exciting. It's not entertaining at all. And um, a lot of people love this song. And it's even nominated for a Grammy. But this song, it's, and the theme, the the lyrical theme on this song is not too interesting or, or is there too much things to say about the song either. It's just, it's just nothing. And on the song Love, Kendrick Lamar goes, I wanna be with you, yeah, I wanna be with you. And uh, it's a really corny refrain and it, and it's kind of obnoxious. I mean, I can hear that Kendrick Lamar is trying to make this song very, very feel, feely, touchy, very lovely, because, yeah, the song is about love, so he's trying to make, make this song really warm and satisfying so that it sounds like love, like an embodiment, but uh, it, it doesn't work, man, it doesn't work, and on God... Yes, there's a really good concept and idea for the song. The lyrics is actually okay, but again, it's really formulaic. And uh, the trap, the trap flavored instrumentals, the hi hats, the snares, the auto tuned vocals, and uh, it's it's not that good. And then there's also Element, which is a better song of the album, which is one of the better songs of the album. But uh, again, it's not it's not that engaging. It's not that entertaining. I kind of like the really conflicting and contradictory chords, and I kind of like the piano work on the song also. And um, DNA is also again really good, really aggressive, and the second half is really bass boosted. The samples are great. They just blow up in your face and humble. One of the biggest singles of 2017, dominated for a lot of awards, and... Hey, 
I remember syrup sandwiches and crime allowances Finesse a nigga with some counterfeits But now I'm counting this Parmesan with my accountant lips In fact, I'm down in this You say with my boo -bay, tastes like Kool-Aid for the analyst In fact, I was there I was there when Kendrick Lamar dropped the humble music video when it's under 60k views i know it's it's kind of dumb to to tell people how early i was to a music video like a lot of people do that but um yeah humble is one of the most popular rap songs of 2017 and it's, it is actually a decent banger with all these trap influenced sounds the really the really funky, punchy, and angry bass line. And, um, but however, it feels a little bit dry and a little bit too simple at times because uh, it's basically a beat and Kendrick Lamar spitting verse after verse, rhyme after rhyme, fire on top of this beat. And uh, there's not much twist and turn to songs like Humble, DNA, or Element. It's just kind of stale, cold, and flat. Sometimes it really works, but in this case, it doesn't really work out for me. But nonetheless, Humble is still, in my opinion, one of the better rap songs of 2017. And uh, I think it's actually really good. The lyrics are incredible, and the music video is incredibly entertaining. I also love a few songs on Damn, including Pride, which sounds really exotic and luxurious. And it sounds really slow, woozy, drowsy, and drunk with these very summery and fluttery instrumentals. And uh, how they twisted Kendrick's vocals on this song makes this song really, really nice and dreamy. And I also kind of like lust. Up in the morning, think about money, kick your feet up. Watch you a comedy, take a shit, then roll some weed up. Go hit you a lick, go fuck on the bitch, don't go to work today. Cop you a fit or maybe some kicks and make it. Which is very sensual and sexy, just like the title. And uh, it sounds really worrisome and problematic also. And um, yeah, it successfully embodies the theme of lust and uh, it's very chill and um, the hooks are very eerie the vocal works is also creative and um, the sample the sample on lust is also kind of good and uh, the song feel it's not I at first I really like feel but now it kind of gets worse over time because it's just bland insipid i actually love the instrumentals on feel but again the chill the slow the flat feeling the vibe on the song is just and eh. but again it's actually okay it's actually decent but um um it kind of gets worse over time but i really love the last track duckworth which has a little bit of good kid mad city in it in my opinion Duckworth has a lot of good samples on it, and it's really entertaining. Again, it's split in two halves, and um, the first half is really woke, and the second half is more catchy and thoughtful. Overall, Kendrick Lamar's Damn, it's an okay album. There are a lot of decent moments on the album, and there's also a lot of great moments and highlights on this album. The theme is a little bit contradictory and hypocritical. I get it, hypocrisy, inconsistency, it's like the, the main theme of the album, it makes this album more hard to grasp, and it's so full of struggle and pain, I get it, hypocrisy, inconsistency, it's like this, it's like the main theme of the album, and it makes the album sounds more struggling and painful, but um, this also makes the album more spotty and shoddy and a little bit ill-conceived. And uh, the lyrics on this album is a, is more blunt instead of flowery and full of ups and downs and surprising moments. The lyrics here is just kind of flat and insipid, I guess. And uh, the sound, the sound, the overall sound on this album is really spotty, bland. And uh, there's a lot of moments on this album where it gets really formulaic. It's basically Kendrick Lamar 
rapping over this beat that just loops again and again and again. Maybe in the songs there's a couple of jumps and that's it. So it gets really formulaic. So the entire album feels like a chunk after a chunk after a chunk of songs that doesn't have anything too special about them. And uh, it feels like every song on this album is following the same style. However, the production on this album is incredible and amazing. And the lyrics, the flow, the performance is also incredible and impressive. And uh, I, I love how much thought and effort that Kendrick Lamar has put into this album. And uh, I can see Kendrick Lamar being more authentic and real on this album. But uh, again, it doesn't go too well with this new formula. And uh, I, I also think that um, this album is not cinematic enough. Like on Good Kid Mad City and To Pimp a Butterfly, these two albums are like movies. They are full of ups and downs and interludes. And there's a lot of really weird and new moments. And uh, it's really entertaining to just listen. But on this album, it's kind of like moving on to the next song, moving on to the next song, moving on to the... And there's a lot of lackluster and insipid moments on this album that uh, that's underwhelming. And uh, I'm not too, too fond about it. But uh, there's also a lot of potential in this album that's unrealized. And that could be utilized into a way greater song. In fact, if you just cut out the lackluster moments on this album, this album would have been kind of good, actually. And there's a lot of songs on this album that tries to embody its theme, its title. But, uh, um, uh, uh, it's meh. So, uh, the worst song is Ya, yeah, and the best is, um, I guess... Humble would be the way to go, but um, Duckworth is also one of the best. Um, I'm giving Kendrick Lamar's Damn a 7 out of 10. So, have you listened to the album? From 1 to 10, how much would you rate it? Like if you like it, hate me if you hate me, and subscribe if you want more. I don't hate Kendrick Lamar, and in fact Kendrick Lamar is still one of the greatest rappers of all times right now. But uh, I really have to be honest. I don't want to pretend that I love this album. I really, really want to love this album. But it's just, it's just not as good. So, subscribe if you want more anyway.